An Ottawa committee will decide tomorrow whether to allow e-scooters to return to the streets this spring. Now, CTV's Dave Charbonneau reports some people with disabilities say they can be dangerous. Electric scooters are proving to be some of the most popular forms of transportation during the summer. But to address public safety concerns, this year the models are expected to be new and improved. We're hesitant to support it because it's not proven yet that it's actually going to happen. Wednesday, the Transportation Committee will vote in whether to bring back the scooters for a third pilot project. Right now you've got the advisory council or committee is, is voted seven to one again. So that has to, should say something too to the transportation committee. Some say these scooters still pose a threat to those living with a disability. It's almost impossible to enforce the rules with, with so many e-scooters and so many riders. So I really don't think that they have addressed the issues that we raised. One major issue is scooters being left in the middle of the sidewalk. Bird Canada says their scooters have improved accuracy to prevent this. Much greater precision than we even had before where a scooter is and where it's going. And that helps us prevent things like sidewalk riding. It helps us do things like precision parking, which forces us to park in basically a 20 centimeter uh, box. I'm not convinced that the GPS accuracy is fine tuned enough to pick out if one is left in the middle of the sidewalk. Five kilometers an hour on the sidewalk. The City of Ottawa has made it clear that in order for companies to operate here, they must comply with the new strict guidelines. They must bring the newest generation of e-scooters that can't be driven on sidewalks and can only be parked in designated spots. And response time to address issues is reduced to 15 minutes from one hour. The e-scooters must also emit a constant sound while operating. you got to remember, you're using this on a, on a city street downtown. A truck goes by, jackhammers are going off, there's loud music nearby. Uh, it's got to be loud enough to warn you, and they have not found that. Still, some say the city is putting residents living with disabilities on the back burner. If it's creating a barrier uh, and a risk for seniors, if people are afraid to go out because they're afraid to be hit, all of which are feedback that we've heard uh, from town halls on this in Ottawa, um, then I'm sorry, um, their safety should be the priority. They may be testing, having prototype technologies, but vulnerable pedestrians shouldn't be used as guinea pigs in another pilot while they test this technology. The e-scooter companies say that safety is top of mind and that the new generation of scooters should address any issues from the previous two years. Dave Charbonneau, CTV News.